All right. Good morning, afternoon, evening. Um, so I'm going to do a, f- a, a, a few, a handful of examples. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I would take hours probably. And I don't want to do that to you. So I posted the key separately. So this is just um, like a, a few examples from each. So I hope this helps. If not, no, that's, um, that's okay. We're just doing this. Okay. So quadratic is first. I want to do part E. So I'm going to do part E. Um, okay. So that one's negative. My vertex, I guess I could have like scooched this in. My vertex is three positive six. So I'm going to plot that first. And these are just going by ones, right? Two, four, six. So three positive six is here. The other thing that's important to recognize is that I have this negative and I have a factor of three. So I have like a stretch going on. And so that means my first jump is going to be down three on both sides. So like one, two, three. So it's actually here. So let me erase those other dots. Um, The other thing I want to do before I forget is draw my axis of symmetry. So because a parabola is even, it's an even function, means it like behaves the same on each side. So then I can like draw my other point on that other side. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to find my next point at um, positive 1. So then what I recommend is just like plugging that in if you're having a hard time, which maybe you are because it's distance learning. Yeah, I know. Negative 2 times to 2 is positive 4 so this is negative 12 plus 6 which is negative 6 so then I'm down here at 2 4 6 so I'm down here so then I can also like swing that on the other side make it symmetrical so then I'm gonna draw this and I'm gonna swoop down oops I missed my point (laughs) swoop down okay so right like here is half of my parabola I have my vertex up here, 3, 6. And then my first jump is that like negative 3. Yeah, and then look, I go 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. When I jump down 9. Just think about that for a second. Okay, cool. So that's the quadratic. Um, You'll see like this one is negative also. Um, Everything else is positive. Um, So just be looking for that like first jump. And then if you're not sure, evaluate. This is what that's called. Evaluate. Oops. Two. Well, find next point. Ta-da. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Uh, This one I wanted to do three. So... Oh, I see what I did. Well, I just copied the other one, so it's fine. Um, let's do, I wanted to do B, and then I wanted to do F, and then I think on the next page, I guess I wouldn't have to do that. I wanted to do, oh, sh- okay, so let's do B first, and I'm going to maybe like zoom in here. Oops, I don't want that. Okay. So I have um, my A value is 4, right? So that means it's stretched. And look at this. It's been flipped about the Y axis, the axis. <laughs> so um, the first thing I, I want to do is kind of check 0. I don't know what the square root of 2 is. So then I'm going to think differently. And I'm like, OK. If I input 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1 times 4. So then that would be um, 4, right? 1, 2, 3, I can't count, 4. So that's my first point, I want to say, yeah? Okay, so then moving from there, I want to think about when it's 0. And so I'm thinking, 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 2 minus 2 is 0, right? So I'm thinking about like what my vertex is, my locator point. 2 times 2 is 0, or 2 minus 2 is 0, times that is 0. So actually my locator point, I'm going to do in blue, is here, I think. Okay. And then because this is a a radical, a square root, I'm thinking about square numbers. 
And so, for example, square root of 0 is 0, square root of 1 is 1, square root of 2 is something, square root of 3 is something, square root of 4, though, I know is 2. And so I already sort of like did these ones. So then I'm going to try to create this. And so that's going to happen at negative 2. And here's why. 2 minus negative 2. So then I will be able to create that 4 that I'm looking for. So that would be 2 and that would be 8. So if I'm at negative 2, which is here, negative 2, if I input negative 2, my output is, right, because this is 4. 4 times 2, which is 8, which is the very top of my graph. Okay, so with pink, I'm going to try to do this. <laughs> so it starts and it jumps up, and then it's going to kind of go like that. Sorry about that. I went to the next page. Okay, maybe if I could use like a highlighter and like smooth it out a little bit. I don't know if that works. Okay, so... It is going the other way. So here is that like flip because it's like the minus x flip. The other thing that's happening is that it goes from my locator point up four. So this first jump is like the times four that I'm seeing in my equation. That's my a value. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then the locator point, just like to be really, really clear, is 2 comma 0 is the locator point, the vertex. Okay, right? So that's a little bit more, um, I want to say, complicated. And I actually don't maybe want this here because that looks like I have two things. Okay, um, let's do part F. I'm going to do part F over here. And then I'm going to save actually H for the next like slide. Okay, so here I have like a regular locator point. So I have 2 comma 1. So I'm going to plot that at 2 comma 1. So right, that's 2, 4, 6. Okay, and then I have an A value of 2. A equals 2. So that first jump, or if things positive, that first jump, instead of going to 1, 1, is going to jump up to go to 2. Right, so like I'm going to like have something like that jumping up. So the other thing that I'm looking for for part F is like, um, like the next value I want to say. The other thing is that we can confer this. So like that was three, right? So if I plug in three minus, I think it's correct. Oh gosh, no, I'm not sure. This is two times one plus that, which is two is three. So that's true. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to zoom out for a second and then like move it over here. Okay. So then it's probably not going to happen like at um, KS, that's 3, 4, right? Because if I have 4 take away 2, that's 2. So I'm, again, looking for my square numbers. Like I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. And so if I'm taking away 2, right? Because, sorry, my, my, what is it? G of X equals 2, X minus 2. I want this to create a, a square number. So again, that's like 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, et cetera. So I want to create that. And so then I'm thinking, okay, I, I already have my like locator point, my first jump. So I, I'm going to try to create 4. So if I want to create 4, I have to plug in 6. So then I would say, okay, what is 6 minus 2? That's 4. So that is square root of 4, which is 2, which is 5. So then all the way over here at 6, so this is 2, 4, 6. At 6, I'm going to output 5. 2, 4, 5. I think I did that wrong on my key now that I'm looking at it. Oh my gosh. Well, you never know what you're going to get over here in this moose. Um, okay, cool. So again, I have that first big jump, right? Like this jump of 2 is because of my A value. And then my locator point, let's make that in green, is 2 comma 1. Yeah? Okay, if you're not sure, though, evaluate. Do some math. Okay, let's look at the next one. And I think because I have said to do the best. But, yeah. Another. Yeah. H. Let's do H on this slide. Oh, my key is wrong. Okay, that 
is something I would do. Okay, so this one is negative. It has a jump of four, so A equals four. And then I have my vertex, my locator point is gonna be kind of regular. So one comma zero, which is here. All right, so that first jump, and it's also gonna swing down. It's gonna like reflect over our, our x-axis. So it's gonna, instead of going to one, it's gonna jump down to four. So one, two, three, four. So it's gonna jump here. So at two, it's gonna be at negative four. Okay, <laughs> so same thing. I'm looking for my like next point, and I wanna create right, like something that's a square number in here. So I have, right, like if I did like two worked, so I just did, I did one, I did two. So then I'm thinking, 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 five would be my next one. So five take away one is four. So that's negative four times two, which is negative eight. So then four, so that's two, four, five. <laughs> Let me erase this little dot here. So then I'm all the way down two, four, five at negative eight. So let's, I'm going to use purple. So I'm going to swing down, sweet chariot. Okay, so it's reflected about the axes. Here is my locator point is one, zero, just like I saw in my equation. And then it's flipped and it's stretched. So again, I see that big jump of four. Okay, next. Um, for this one, page 15, I just wanted to do D, I guess. Um, and then the same thing, it says Y equals, but it's all, it's all the same. <laughs> uh, plus K. Okay, so it's shifted up two units, right? So that's my K value. It's reflected about the Y, which means it's going this way. So that's negative X. Right, like on the inside of our f of x. Shifted left three units, so that's actually plus three. Okay, so let's do this in blue. So y equals, or f of x equals, so I'm gonna have, I don't have a stretch, so I just have my square root then. And then I'm gonna have negative x, so the opposite of x is I'm flipping it. And then plus three, <laughs> that, that was a bad three and then plus two at the end. So you might, you see these written as this, which is, I think, <laughs> kind of a mind trip, right? Because it's like, normally we don't write it like that. We don't like that. I don't like that. Um, so you can write either way. Here you can see, oops, you can see the three and the two, right? Um, and then whatever's happening is like gonna be affected by that X. Yeah, okay. Next, a uh, cube root, page 16, I wanted to do part B. Okay, yeah, it's negative, it's got a plus two. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. So my locator point is gonna be negative two, zero. Negative two, zero. And then my A value is one, so that's helpful with these cube, cubics, cube root, cubics. So then that means that if I plug in negative one, I get, here, let me actually show this. Um, so f of negative one, negative cube root, negative one plus two. What is that? Da, 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 da. Negative one. So negative one is negative one. So let's do that in purple actually. Okay. <laughs> Uh, zero is not going to be helpful because that's not going to give me like a, um, a cubed number that I could like take the cube root of. And so the other thing, I, I did this in another video, cube numbers, zero, one, eight, <laughs> because zero cubed is zero, one cubed, and then two cubed. And so I'm looking for like my eight situation here. So if I wanna create eight, I have to add six to two. So then I'm gonna look at an input of six. So I'm over here, so that's zero, right? Two, four, six. Um, so six plus that is do, 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 two, but it's negative two. So then I'm gonna be out here. Okay, so maybe I'll do that one in pink actually. 
So then what's really nice is that like there's, it's not symmetrical, but there's a pattern that sort of goes <laughs> like the other way. And so what I'm able to do, I'm not going to be able to see my pink point, but let me do this in blue. Let's do highlighter. So I'm going to like swing down sort of like a parabola and then I'm going to like swing the other way. And so my locator point is that green dot. So actually let's say that. So here's my locator of negative two zero. And so I'm going to like go to the right one and down one and then I'm going to go up one back one. And so that's sort of like this nice odd property that happens because this is an odd function. Um, yeah, I know. Um, the other thing is that when you graph this, B and C are going to look similar because it's an similar, because it's an R, it's an odd function, which means that it's not even, which means it doesn't have an axis of symmetry. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Page 16. Yeah, I only wanted there you go. Wait, was that do that one? Okay, 17. I wanted to do D and F. Oh dear. Oh yeah, F is brutal. Okay. I think I can actually let's just zoom in here. And then I also I learned that I can like erase this stuff. Isn't that funny? Bye bye. It looks kind of gross though. And I don't know how to trim stuff in here. I know you're like, I didn't ask Miss Moose, but you're here, so I'm going to tell you. I don't know how to, like, trim the images. Like, sometimes I try and it doesn't work. So, just now you know my struggles. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, that's good enough. All right, D. Let's do D. D is fine, but there's a lot of stuff going on. Okay, so um, maybe down here. A equals negative 2. So, there's a slope. My HK is for four. So that is where I'm going to start. So let's actually throw some markers down here. And then let's do this. Let's do this. It would have been helpful if I would have done that earlier. Okay, four, four is here. And I like that because that's equidistant. Okay, so what's nice about this, this is an even function, even function. So I'm going to have an axis of symmetry. So I have that with my parabola and I have that with my absolute value. So then from here, I have a slope <laughs> and my slope is two. And so I'm saying two times this function. Um, and so from there, what's going to happen is that like if I plug in five, right? So like, where's my pen? If I plug in five, negative two, five minus four, oops, not the same. <laughs> is negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 4 is 2. Let me make sure I did that real quick. 1, negative 2, negative 2 plus 4 is 2. Okay, so then that would be 2, right? So that means that on the other side, that's also 2. Okay, so from here, right, it's a linear line. So that means that pattern is going to continue in the same way. So I have a slope of negative 2. So this is like a throwback to y equals mx plus b. What's funny, though, is that when you draw it like this, sometimes it looks funny because, like, you get cut off by the graph. Okay, so again, my locator point is up here, my vertex, and then I come down, I have a slope of two. And so that's why that two is helpful here, right? I have like a slope. So I'll see something similar over here for my three fourths. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> this one is a little bit brutal, but that's okay. So one thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to say that your vertex is 4, 0. It's not. So your vertex is not 4, 0. Sorry. Like, no. Okay, so what is your vertex? That's a great question. So I want to create 0, right? So I want to input a number and I want to output a number to get 0. So one thing you could do is like you could solve for 0. But the other thing I know is that this 2x minus 4, if I want that to be 0, right? So that's 2x equals 4, x equals 2. 
So my vertex actually happens at two zero. So it's all about solving, like finding your zeros. So same thing, let me do, I don't know, pink, I guess. So that means that my axis of symmetry is gonna go through my vertex. So let me, oops, I don't want that. Whoa, I want a pen. My vertex is two comma zero. Because when I plug in two, I output zero. Plug in two, output zero. X equals two, Y equals zero. All right, so from here, I have this like really weird thing that's gonna happen to me. <laughs> And so I want to sort of figure out what is a good spot. And it looks like it's going to be anything that sort of gives me a multiple of four. Because if I have three fourths, if I multiply by a multiple of four, then I'm going to be able to like clear a factor of four out of there. I know, I'm just saying that, but go with it. So let's zoom. Oh, but you can see my thing. I can't. Dang it. Miss Moose. Don't judge me. Or you know what? Do it. Judge me, but don't tell me about it pretty sensitive sometimes. Okay, so hopefully you're like catching your breath. Let's make a table. So I'm gonna make an XY table and I want my vertex to be in the middle of it. So my vertex is dun, 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 two zero. And I want multiples of like four or like two kind of. So I actually wanna check like if I check one, I think I'm gonna get a decimal. So I'm gonna check zero. And then I'm also gonna check, I don't know, let's do like negative two. So then I would do similar jumps. So that would be four, right? If I'm going by twos, I think. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna do like some proper mathematics, right? So I'm gonna evaluate, I'm gonna think about this. So if I plug in negative two, Right, and I'm going to take the absolute value. So that's negative 4 minus 4 is 8, but it's absolute value. So when, or wait, no, that's 4. Minus 4 minus 4 is negative 8. Yeah, 8, that's 2. Um... Oh, that's six. What am I thinking? <laughs> Sorry. I like got, I was looking at the graph and I got confused. Okay. So I'm going to get six. So the eighth grade math teacher in me wants you to like find the jump from there, but you know what? It's, it's early. It's late. It's been a long year. So let's just keep evaluating. Okay. So I did that. So let me maybe change colors. So three fourths, absolute value of two now times zero minus four. So this is where I was getting a little bit like two excited, zero, so that's four, which is four, three, four times four is three. That's what I wanted it to be. Okay, so where's this? Here's my axis of symmetry, so it has to be similar on the other side. So this, in my mind, has to be three, and this has to be six, 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 right? That, like, do half the work is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so thank goodness for axis of symmetry. So let's point that, let's do it with my colors. So zero is three, one, two, three. So across that and keep it the same distance. So it's like two away from my line. And then when I have six, two, four, six is here. I have positive six, so two, four, six. And then I'm gonna have that. So see how it's like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I know. Use your axis of symmetry. Use it. Okay, and then I'm gonna connect these little dots. In my key, it kind of looks like it's just a slip of one and that's because I was struggling. Okay, so be careful is all I wanna say. Use your vertex. Use your I wanted to say line of symmetry, axis of symmetry. Evaluate one and then two points and then fill out the table from the rest. Yeah? Okay. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? I know. You're like, no, I hate it. I'm not sure about those graphs. I can't do anything about that right now. 
All right, D and E. D and E. D and E. Hmm, okay. D and E. D and E. D and E. <laughs> okay, D and E. Uh, so this is cubic, which is also odd, just like for the record. Um, okay. So if I'm looking at D, I have a vertex, a locator point at negative 2, negative 3. So negative 2, 1, 2, 3. So that is my locator point. Oops. Okay. So from there, I have a regular, my A value is 1. And so same thing, I'm going to think about if I plug in 1, or sorry, negative 1, I get my 1, and then I get all that. And then I'm going to be able to swing down the other way. Right? So there's like this sort of like axis of <laughs> symmetry, but it's like kind of flipped and turned, which doesn't make sense. And I'm sorry I said it. All right. I'm then going to evaluate zero. So then here's where I'm sort of like plugging it in, right? I'm like, what would happen if this was zero plus that cube minus three? So that's eight, right? Because two to the third power is eight minus three is five. So then I'm here at two, four, five. Right? And then I would sort of like move that same way I can't because my graph is too small. So let me actually use a highlighter to make this look kind of nice. Well, and then it swings down the other way. Yeah? Okay. Great. So it's got this little like swirly swoop. It goes the other way. If you're getting a parabola, it's because something's up with your parentheses. I hate to say it, but it's true. And then just so for the record, that was 8 minus 3, which is 5. Okay. So that's like a regular schmangular one. This one has a negative. It is negative. The outside is negative, but it's odd. So that's going to make it look like it's a flip either way. So my locator point is 0, 2. So when x is 0, I've like done a shift of up 2. And instead of going like this way, it's, it's negative. So it's going to go the other way. So let me erase that. So then if I plug in 1, <laughs> 1 cubed is 1, minus 1, right? So that's plus. So 2 minus 1 is 1, yeah? If I plug in negative 1, so here's where you have to be careful with your um, negatives, order of operations. So this is actually negative times negative 1, which is positive because it's double negative. So that's actually 3. So then I'm here at 2, but look, I'm up at 3. So it's got that sort of, like, if it's got an A value of 1, it's got this, like, cool little diagonal that it's doing. I think it's cool. Okay, the other thing that I, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> that I know is that normally it goes 0, 1, 8 for a cubic, right? Because 0 cubed is 0, 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8. And so if I've shifted it up to, right, like my parent graph would have been down here at 8, but now it's going to be up here at 6. I know. So, oh gosh, can I do this? I can do this with my set. Swing up and away, up and away. So I'm using what I know about the parent graph. The other thing you can do, of course, forever and always, is evaluate, right? So that was my next point at 2. So h of positive 2... Negative 2 cubed plus 2. Negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6. This is negative 6. Okay. See, it's not so bad. So evaluate until you can't evaluate anymore. Let's look at the last one. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. 19. I didn't say which one I wanted to do, so that's funny to me. Um... Oh, yes. I think I wanted to do E, G, H. Let's look at these. Okay, so this is, again, like I have my original function, A, X. Oops, it's not a cube root. <laughs> Woo, it's a cubic. Cube plus K. Right, so if it's up 4, so that's my F of X or Y equals X cubed plus 4. Right, I've just simply shifted it up. If it's left or right, that's our inside. So it's to the left, which is actually, it looks like minus, but it's plus. Right? So those are the only things I've done for that. Okay. 
vertically stretched by a factor of four. So this is where I'm gonna get something like this on the outside, right? Like that was like what we did in our Desmos. So that means I have f of x equals four times, how did I just wrote it like this? Okay, reflected about the x axis. So that's like reflecting it down. So that's gonna be the opposite of f of x, which is f of x, let's do an arrow negative oops negative mm -hmm. and i think oh oops i wrote it wrong on my key <laughs> this is like the opposite of this i did this wrong on my key miss moose i switched these it doesn't matter which is convenient for me but not convenient for you Okay, so they're going to look the same because it's, um, comme peut dire ça, uh, odd. En pair, en français. Okay, a stretch happens inside. So if it's a horizontal stretch. So that means I'm going to have f of x, and I'm saying by 4. So I'm going to have 4 times that inside my parentheses. So these are tough. I always get them switched. Obviously, I get them all switched because I did it wrong on my key. Um, I put some stuff here for you in the key. So I did like a cubic versus a cube root. They are inverses of each other. So they look kind of similar. Okay. I hope that helps. Um, if not, then I'm sorry. And I love you all. Okay. Bye.